Sanders. Hi. The cherry trees very much look uniform in their appearance, but if you look at them more closely, each one is a unique, precious bloom, just like every snowflake. So I think that's a great analogy for the preciousness of every human life. Good morning. On behalf of my uh, colleagues of the Torrance City Council, I want to welcome all of you to this beautiful morning that we're here. And we have, yeah, let's give it a round of applause, Torrance, yeah. How fortunate it is to have an event scheduled and the blossom trees blooming right here today. That we couldn't have had a better day for this. Blossom trees hold special symbolism with the city, with Japan, actually. In 1912, Japan gave the United States 3,020 trees as a gift to celebrate the nation's growing friendship. This is 1912. Now, obviously, all of you in the audience know that that's a significant day for the city of Torrance also because we're celebrating the 100 years that Japan did that with the United States, but also the city of Torrance's centennial 100 years. So let's give both those ideas a round of applause. Also today, this year, we're celebrating the 40 years that our, our connection with Kashiwa, Japan. we all here celebrating the Japanese culture that we're here to do today. So again, we have to thank Soko Rai International of the 110 trees that they gave us for this park. And we're looking at them right now, all these trees, 110. Let's give them a round of applause for, for donating those. A Japanese poet, Kobayashi, once said, in a blossom tree shade, there's no such thing as a stranger. So today we're celebrating the fact that we have great partners in making this park beautiful, but also the symbolism of the shade that the blossom tree creates for all of us. So again, I want to thank you all for being out here. Let's have a great day. Thank you all. tree planting. And again, I want to thank Soka Kagai for uh, the donation. This city of Torrance uh, is uh, Daisaku Ikeda, who is a uh, SGI president, international president, uh, donated uh, 500 cherry trees to the city of Torrance. And this is uh, about 110 cherry tree in the city of Colum Columbia Park. And uh, we are about 350 to go. We already have a uh, three park but more to go, and uh, every year we donate about 30 cherry trees to the city of Torrance. But I just wanted to point out, I think the reason that our uh, international president, Daisaku Ikeda, loves cherry trees so much is that they really do uh, symbolize <coughs> great friendship. Great friendship that, that gets initiated uh, through the planting and matures with the roots of that friendship sinking down into the soil the trunk expanding, the trees proliferating, and on periodic occasions, a great drama unfolds and the blossoms come to fruition when we have reunions or great, great celebrations. But the friendship is always there. It's always growing. It's always developing. And that's how we'd like to feel that our relationship with the city of Torrance is developing over time, slowly, but always moving forward. So hold on. It's okay, don't forget that. Okay, with that, we're going to throw some dirt in when everybody's ready. Okay, everybody ready? Ready. Put the dirt in the hole. Hopefully this relationship will continue. We're so pleased that you've done this. So thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. We're so excited about the festival.
Uh, just a side note, you just received a, a phone call from a person who's here from Japan at, because of work, they have to be here. And she was told about the blo cherry blossom blossoming and brought her family and sat here and she felt like she was at home wow. back in Japan wow. and she was so, so pleased. And from SGA Women's Division. We started almost 12 years ago to use our voices to contribute for society. We'd like to share some Japanese songs with you today. Even though if you don't understand Japanese, we hope you enjoy the essence of Japan. <laughs> This is our last song. Which means here we find the foundation for lasting human happiness. This song is 35, 35th anniversary of Japan, debut for Agnes Chen. She's a Hong Kong singer, as known as the first ambassador of the Japan Committee of UNICEF. She composed this song, lyrics by Shinichi Yamamoto, to the theme of peace. Here's the translation. There is something vaster than the wide open sky, and that is my life. There is something deeper than the famous sea, and that is your life. There is something more precious than all the treasures of the universe, and that is our lives. In winter comes, can spring be far behind? Now is the time to vigorously sing a song of the springtime of peace. The deeper the darkness, the closer the dawn. The purpose of the life is to become happy. Here, we find the foundation for lasting human happiness.
unbelievable. It was all Japanese farms when I lived here. Uh, all around Japanese farms. And everything was five cents. The best vegetables in the world, five cents. Japan is incredible. I feel so sorry for the people about Fukushima. We really have to feel bad about that. Well, my wife was Japanese. I, have a, I used to live in Japan. I'm very connected with Japan. And my friends in Japan told me the cherry blossoms will not be growing. They'll not be that this, they, because they come later in Japan. So they told me, you're wasting your time. They told me the other day. I talk to them every week on the, the internet. Rebirth, New Year, New Year and people, future, wonderful. Life is good. <laughs> The Wushu Shaolin out of Hawthorne. And here's Sal Redner to tell you what he's going to do. Thank you everybody for coming. It's a great event and uh, it's a great opportunity for us to demonstrate the traditional arts of Kung Fu and also the traditional lion dance. And uh, it's a great festival. Please enjoy the show. If you have any questions, you can ask us after the performance. Thank you very much. Term. Most people know Kung Fu. Uh, that was made popular by Bruce Lee, but the correct term is Wushu, which means general in martial arts. Uh, what you'll see is uh, some of our students have been practicing for about two years uh, to three years, and uh, they'll be performing various arts. Kung Fu is a very vast art. It includes many systems. Uh, some of the systems in Chinese are Qi Na, uh, which is similar to Aikido, Rou uh, Shu, which is similar to Jiu Jitsu, Dao uh, Shui Jiao, which is uh, Judo. So there's a lot of different arts that you'll see inside of our, our demonstration. Please enjoy and give everybody a round of applause. Thank you.
give them a round of applause, the young kids. Next we'll have Patricia Casalda and Manuel, they're our senior students here at Wushu Shaolin. They'll be performing Plum Flower Fist Ground Boxing. Next we have Maddie who will be performing the traditional praying mantis, the art that was developed by studying the traditional animals near the Shaolin Temple.
know, uh, it's, it's so nice to see these blossoms when you drive by on 190th. Uh, when I drive down the Drona, I drive by these every day, and it's just great to see them. Especially today, you know, what, what a coincidence that it's such a nice day and the blossoms are out today. Um, I actually went online to look for um, sakuras, and there's about over a hundred different sakuras in Japan. And um, the only place that I knew that had it was in Washington because um, they um, offered it to us, you know, as a piece and and very um, cultural and uh, loving gift. The reason why I liked it so much is because I draw. So um, back in high school, I drew a really, really nice uh, blossom tree, but I didn't really know much about it until I kept researching. And I liked all of the tattoos and everything that I saw. And the only thing I didn't like about it was it wasn't um, real. Like it looked too cartoonish and looked too animated. So what I did was um, I made my own sketch and I gave it to my tattoo artist, which is in Costa Mesa Tattoo. And he made very, um, different shading to become more like a, a light pink and coral color but on my skin color it didn't look good it looked more um, fake and um, kind of swollen looking so I said no just do pink stay with pink no red no white whatever so that's how I came up with the um, really light faded pink on, on my skin tone um, and the reason why I got it is because um, I'm very outgoing and loud and when I found out about how um, cherry blossom tattoos um, give you a meaning of you're beautiful now but it doesn't last forever so I got it when I was 30 so I have 30 uh, blossoms on my back all the way down yeah and I'm, I'm also gonna um, add to it with blossoms following so every you know 10 years or so I'm gonna add 10 more and 10 more so
going very, very well. Uh, just a, a side note, you said first annual, which it is. It's also replacing our oodles of noodles for the time zone. But these cherry trees have been here now some up uh, eight or nine years. SGI is planting 10 a year. They were going to plant 100. So far, they've planted 150. Uh, they've actually upped the number to 500 cherry trees going into the city of Torrance. It's fantastic. They buy them, they plant them, and they maintain them, and the city of Torrance gets to look at them. Uh, I am a member, actually the leader of the Mill On Taiko group. Mill On means wonderful sound. It actually comes from the 24th chapter, I think it's the 24th chapter of the Lotus Sutra, where Mill On Bosatsu or Mill On Bodhisattva is her mission is to spread peace and harmony throughout the world, and so we took our name from that. And we hope to, actually we perform for many community events that support the ideals of peace, culture, and education. And so today's event, of course, supporting the Torrance Art Guild and the beautiful Columbia Park, uh, we feel is a, an appropriate venue for us to perform. Uh, we've been part of planting these cherry trees, actually, for the last seven years. Uh, Mr. Hoshi, I don't know if you've talked to him, but Mr. Hoshi, the whole idea of the cherry trees was his brainchild, his idea, and we've been really happy to be able to support that idea. Taiko itself is a way to really uh, express your primal spirit, and so, you know, plus it's good exercise. My Taiko group actually uh, is made up of members from age about 45 to 65, so none of us are spring chickens, and none of us started playing when we were young either, so we really work hard at this, um, and especially we try to unite in spirit. I am a predator. Driven by instinct, I lack in reason, lack morality lacking wisdom in which to control myself. Ruled by the law of the jungle, I stand in fear of the strong, and yet I despise and prey upon those weaker or smaller than myself.
Let's hear it for the Mule Piper Group! I just want to thank all of you for coming out today and for celebrating the cherry trees with us. And we hope to see you again next year. And thank you again to SGI International for everything that you've done. We really appreciate all your, your efforts. They've been huge. So thank you. And thank you for all our other community partners. The Cent Torrance Centennial and the Torrance Sister City Association, North Torrance Homeowners Association, the Torrance Chinese School, Torrance Craftsman's Guilds and Artist Guilds, and Aikido or Aikido Club and Naganada Clubs. And hopefully that's everything. And also my colleagues at City Cable and at the Park Services Division. You guys rock in the park and the park rangers. So thanks everyone for coming. Yay, and be sure to buy some things on the way out. <laughs> now one thing that I'm here today is because of the cherry trees. And the cherry trees come from Japan and they're in bloom today, which is very good. But whenever I was in Washington, D.C., I was with Reagan for quite a few years. The Japanese people also planted cherry trees in Washington, D.C., along the river there. And every year, about this time, they're in bloom. And today, looking at all the trees in bloom, it's a beautiful sight. And I think that means a friendship between the country of the United States and Japan. And I think if there's nothing else that it says, it says there are two countries that even though we are at war one time because of the people who are involved, are now friendly and are together. And I think the very scene of the cherry trees is a good sample of what it means by that. Okay?